Tool chain hasn't been launched yet, and it's been almost a year already since the sacrificing phase, and it looks like we're gonna cross the one year mark easily. So many things have changed while we were waiting for the launch, and just a month ago, people wanted from Richard Hart to launch Pulse Chain and Pulse X as soon as possible. Now we can see the same people saying that it is a bad idea to launch in the bear market because Pulse Chain won't see the same gains. But with ten thousand dollars, we'd be millionaires. I don't understand you guys, seriously. The whole market is on a downtrend since November last year, so we've been basically in a bear market since then. And you guys were okay to launch a month or two ago, but you're not okay if we launch now. Why? Because we won't see 10,000x on the first day of launch? Is that what you're waiting for? I guess no one is expecting these kind of returns within the first day, right? So what are you guys expecting? Actually, let me know down in the comments what are your realistic expectations about the return on investment within the first day of launch. I'm curious to see what the majority of people expect to see, because I'm sure everyone will agree that 10,000x on the first day is not realistic. So what is more realistic? 100x? 10x? In fact, Ethereum did 10x on its first day, and I measure from 30 cents because that was the launch price of Ethereum. But of course, that was way back in 2015, when the crypto adoption was not nearly as high as it is now. So if we take Uniswap for example, Uniswap timed the bull market almost perfectly, launching in September 2020. It made a decent pump on its first day and made around 50x. So I think something between 10 to 100x is a reasonable expectation for Pulse Chain and Pulse X. You guys know my opinion, I think Pulse Chain will pump harder than Pulse X, at least in the beginning, and maybe for the next year or two, but who knows, that's just my opinion based on the data. But a lot of different factors can have a huge impact on the prediction. But anyway, why am I saying all this? First off, I want to say a massive thank you to everyone out there for the support throughout these very tough times times for my channel. I really appreciate it. And as I said, I won't disappoint you, there is a lot more content coming up. I received so many good comments and in a situation like this, it really means the world to me. So honestly, thank you again. All the content that was meant to be uploaded is already done and I will cover the latest updates on the crypto market from now on. So without wasting more time, let's go ahead and see why do I think Pulse Chain needs to be launched now. So if we assume that Pulse Chain will make a 10 or 100x return on its first day, again, let me know down in the comments what your expectations are so I can work with more relevant numbers if your predictions are completely different than mine. But I'm gonna work with 10 to 100x for now. So once again, people were perfectly fine Pulse Chain to launch around this time here in Q1 of 2022, where the price of Bitcoin was all over the place, going all the way down to 33k and all the way up to 45k. So let's say the price during this period was around 40k on average, which is exactly the same as what it was a month and a half ago, when we've been told that Pulse Chain is launching in two weeks. Everyone was excited about it and no one complained about the market conditions. So I don't understand what changed since then, except the price of Bitcoin of course. We've been in a downtrend since November, we broke below the bull market support band, we had multiple rejections off of it, and these ones here didn't actually reach the band, but they were very close. We have another rejection here, and we eventually broke above it in March, but that was a crucial moment on the market, because we know that every time we break above the bull market support band, we go back and test it if we can hold it as support. And if we are unable to hold it as support, that is a huge red flag, and we should expect the market sentiment to turn very bearish and especially here where we had a couple more tests but we've been rejected and if anyone was thinking that after these series of rejections and fed constantly raising the interest rates and everything else that is happening in the world can make the market turn bullish again well i think it's pretty obvious this price performance was expected at this point and i can't see the difference between launching now and launching one or two months ago i think we would see exactly the same price performance for pulse chain during these market conditions because the market is going basically down in both cases. And if the argument here is about the initial pump, are you all guys here for that? I thought you're here for the long run, no? Of course, who doesn't want to make some quick 10x or so, but I don't know why do you think that during these times 10x was likely and now it's not likely. You know that in order for the price to move up, people have to put their money into the coin, right? So that means cash position. If people had cash on hand here and believe in the project, they were going to invest, right? It's the same down here. People who want to invest in pools probably still keeping their cash for the launch. And if you now say that, but they probably lost some of their money because the market crashed even further. Well, you want the launch to be delayed even more and the price will keep going down. You know that. So this doesn't make sense to me. And of course, I'm saying that pool chain needs to be launched now, but this is only if Richard Hart is delaying the launch on purpose because of the current market conditions. If the devs are actually doing some stuff and they are not ready to launch it, it's common sense that it has to be launched when everything is done. I know that Richard Hart said in his last live stream that the devs are still fixing this and that, but 
he might say this on purpose, who knows. He might just want the market to turn bullish again and throw the blame on the devs in the meantime. I'm just speculating, but all in all, I just wanted to clarify that I think this way only if the issue is the market conditions. And I also want to clarify that I don't claim that I knew what was going to happen when we were over here. I didn't know if we will go above the bull market support band and keep trending higher or if we will go into a long bear market like how it looks like right now. That's why I never said that back then. But this is actually my main pillar for the opinion that I have. No one could say for sure back then what exactly will happen next. And that's exactly how it is right now. No one can say how long this bear market will last. We can only speculate with the data, but this doesn't mean anything. Back in Q4 of 2021 and Q1 of 2022, the data was suggesting that we will keep trending down. And that was our general assumption. But no one could say for how long, what the price would be today or tomorrow, and what we should expect in the short term. And basically, the situation is like this. We are in a bear market. The Fed will keep increasing the interest rates probably until the end of the year, which automatically means most likely the market will keep going down. Again, this is the general assumption, because this is what the data suggests. No one can say for sure that this is what is going to happen, but this is what we expect. The thing is, we don't know if the Fed will pivot by the end of the year, or if they will keep increasing the interest rates until Q2 of 2023. And also, many people talk about Bitcoin's bottom, and that the best time pull chain to be launched is after the bottom, and I don't understand that either. What do you guys think will happen after the bottom? Bitcoin will skyrocket to 100k? Bull market reconfirmed? Well, unfortunately none of that. If we take a look at what happened in the last bear market, Bitcoin bottomed exactly one year after its all-time high. It dropped 85% to prices that no one expected at that time. So we had the bottom here, and what happened next? Well, the bear market was not over. There have been some ups and downs along the way, but generally speaking, this is a bear market, and this is what we call an accumulation phase. If we measure this period from the bottom, we can see that it lasted almost two years. And if we measure from the top, because we haven't seen the bottom for the current market cycle yet, you know that that is three years in total, right? If we go even further back in time, to the cycle before this one, we can see almost exactly the same thing. Bitcoin bottomed a little bit over one year after its all-time high, and it was in a bear market for another two years or so. So that's again roughly three years. So you know that this is a scenario that is very likely to play out, because it's not the first time playing out, but of course we can't say it will happen for sure. However, I want to quickly mention that I look at Bitcoin's chart because I think everyone at this point knows that Bitcoin pretty much dictates the direction of the whole crypto market. And when I say what Bitcoin did, you should know that I'm referring to what the crypto market did and not just Bitcoin. And with that being said, I don't understand why people think that launching now is a bad thing. Pool chain was going to go in the same direction if we launched back over here or if we launch now, because in both cases, after launch, the market will keep going down. If the project is garbage, it won't do anything even if it launches in a turbo bull market. And the opposite is also relevant. If the community and fundamentals are there, it doesn't matter when they launch. Moreover, eventually pool chain will face a bear market sometime in the future. I don't know why are all these concerns within the community, especially when you know that Hex launched in a bear market and you know how it performed. So I think every day that pool chain's launch is delayed, it has a negative impact on the project. Why? Because we are currently around 7 months in a bear market, measured from the all-time high. We know that Bitcoin finds its bottom around 1 year after that, so that means around 5 more months. Of course, this is only if history is any indication. If the Fed keeps increasing the interest rates after these 5 months, it's very likely that we won't see the bottom after 1 year from the all-time high. So what I'm trying to say? Basically, timing these events is a dangerous game, and if the community has to wait another 5 months, and potentially even more, who knows, people will be very frustrated. A lot of will be going out there. Of course, with all the FUD, the price of HEX will tank, and overall, no one is gonna be happy and many people will walk away. So once again, if the devs are actually fixing some stuff and improving the protocol, that's fine. But if the delay is because we wait for the market to bottom, I think this is a very bad strategy and won't be in favor of pool chain. As I showed you already, we might have to wait another 2 years or so to see the next bull run, and the launch cannot be delayed for 2 years. That would be insane. I definitely think pool chain has to be launched as soon as the deaths are all done. No matter if the bottom is in or not. If the community believes in the project, the project will do exactly the same as what it will do before or after the bottom. Because the market now is not exciting, but it won't be very exciting after the bottom either. And it won't be in the next two years potentially. But anyway, this is my opinion and how I see the things. There might be something that I don't know and I don't take into consideration. So if you think I'm missing something and you have different opinion than mine, let me know down in the comments. And I might do an update if it's actually legit. But apart from that, I hope you enjoyed the video and if you want to support my channel, you can just simply press the like button. That will be more than enough. And of course, if you want to see more content in the future, consider subscribing as well. I'm just getting started. Anyway, thanks for watching guys and I'll see you next time.